Photoshop Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. How to create guides in Photoshop. Well, first thing to do is what is a guide? Well, a guide is useful for alignment. You can actually use it to actually snap things to it. It's basically like, and the key thing here is the snap and snap to and guides there. You can see that in the view menu. That's the key thing, view menu there. And once you've actually got that, what you can do in the view menu again, is just go to the new guide option and then you can set that with and all these are actually all in the view menu the key thing is view menu and you can set vertical or horizontal and you can set the position you can see the position there it's set at three five whatever you can push it back to zero you can use the move tool to move it around again go back to the view menu and new guides and you can change the value very quickly just up down the key and click OK and you can see another guide. You can add multiple guides in Photoshop. So you can have three, four, I don't know if there's a limit, maybe there is. You can do new guides. You can also set them horizontal as well as vertical. So once you do that, you can see you can move that around as well. And you can create, again, more guides for the horizontal as well. You can also clear them via the same menu, view menu. And once you've done that, what you can do, just go there again, view menu and new guide layout. Well, this one's quite useful. It creates a uniform guide. So instead of just creating a uniform guide yourself, you can just use this. You can set the gutter, you can set the width, you can set the numbers of columns, also the numbers of rows. You can just, of course, use columns without rows. You don't need that, or rows without columns. You can increase the numbers, again, just by using the up, down, or just typing the number in. And again, you can modify the, you can see the columns there as well, change. Now there's a create clear existing guides. You can of course remove the existing guides. So if you've got some existing guides, then they can be removed. There's also presets. You can also load presets and save your own presets. So if you've got your guides, you've created them, you're happy with that, you can save that. Yeah, you can save that one. Obviously, you've got the lovely eight on there. You can clear them again just very quickly. Also, you can just add some new ones as well. Okay, you can change the settings, you can see the settings there. Again, click OK or clear it, and you can see now you've got even more guides. I say there maybe there's a limit, maybe it's 100, 200, I have no idea. I've never seen a limit actually appear, so I can, uh, I'm not really sure about that. And you can clear it all down. Also, you can modify the width, so you can actually set the width, so you can say like two centimeters, etc. So every, every two centimeters instead of being spread over. You can also centre them, so you've got you can see now the gaps. There's also a margin feature which I don't actually show in the video. There's a margin which adds a sort of like border around the edge. So with guides again, again you've got that clear guides. Final one of all these things. You can use shapes, you can use layers, you can use type, anything that's a layer basically you can use. So just create a layer, and as long as it's selected, it will be used as for the guide. So you just go there and you can select all of those shapes. You can do the same in the layers panel. So you just go to the layers panel, select all those shapes you want to use as guides, and then create a new guide from those shapes. So via the game, via the view menu. So once you've actually done that, you can see the the guides there, they're just all based on the bounding box of the designs there. And of course you can move the actual shapes. So if you move the shapes and then create, do the same thing, it will create a whole new set of guides again. So you can also go with type, so you can add some, some type there. And again, go back to move tool, and then go to view menu again, and new guides, and you can see the guides actually. And then you can move the type, and then again, new guides view menu and create some new guides in that shape and you can move around you can see then once you've done that you can see it just snaps to it as you move around you can just see it just sort of clicking in into the position and you can use that obviously with maybe a shape tool rectangles etc a whole range of different tools just go over there and you can see just quickly drag that over it doesn't have to snap to the whole thing it just, but it just gives you a sort of guide to the thing so Right, just go down the bottom or you can, that's it. Hope you found that of interest. Thank you much, graphicextras.com. Bye.